This is my Marine Corps combat knife by Ontario Knives. It is a Spec Plus model. It comes with a 1095 carbon steel blade. Obviously, I've used it. And a Creighton handle with lanyard hole. This is a Cordoba and leather sheath with two methods of retention. Both are very effective in holding the knife in. The knife does have a blood groove. It is black coated even though I have worn a lot of it off. I'm still practicing sharpening convex edges which is what I put on here with 1500 grit sandpaper as the final edge which is why it's got such a shiny edge. I didn't realize how much it would polish it. But it did come out fairly nice in my opinion. The edge did. See a pretty good reflection on there. And it is moderately sharp. Let's see if I've learned to cut paper yet. Obviously it will cut paper. But uh, like I said, I have used it, but it is retaining an edge fairly well. There's not too much I can say about this. It does have a stubble edge in the back. Those of you seeing that shiny part from the rear there. It's a general all-around uh, fighting slash survival knife. I personally think it's a little short for the zombies to get here, but hey, you know what? It's not certainly better than any other knife that hasn't been tested in design for the last 50 years. So I would rely on it. A lot of Marines rely on it. And they know what they're doing. At least we hope. Now, in all reality, Love the Marines, real good people. Well, I just wanted to review this knife for you. I'm going to do a knife demonstration here pretty soon, so subscribe if you want to be informed when that happens. I'm going to compare this to Bussy knives, Swamp Rat knives, Markworks knives, Cold Steel knives, etc., etc., and an active demonstration showing what they can do. Now this is Murr. I'm signing off. I said leave comments, subscribe, and thank you for watching. Alright, goodbye.